Boy, did we have some leaves come down. Hi, buddy. Hi, Morris. Boy, did we have some leaves come down last night, yesterday. <laughs> Silly boys. Silly boys. They're everywhere this morning. Full-on assault. It did rain a little bit more overnight because we barely got anything. Although, I'm sure if I go and check the rain gauge, it's going to be barely wet in there. It wasn't enough to matter. Let's see. The boardwalk's a little wet. Stripes around. He, he's just out walking. Yeah. Not even, a, like, two drops came out of the rain gauge. So, like I said, maybe wet. Not even wet in there, really. But technically, the 40% we're going to get rain we got, right? Because the ground is wet. I don't know if our chances have ended today or if there's still a little chance or not. Don and I are headed to the NC State Ralston Arboretum tonight. They have a special light the gardens event that goes on for like 10 days or something where they have all these Christmas lights out there and... Uh, it's not supposed to be raining tonight, so we don't care about clouds. And it will it's a little colder. It's in the 50s right now. But it um, it's not supposed to be frigid wind blowing or anything, so it should be totally enjoyable. I'm looking forward to it. That was really nice. Don surprised me with the tickets. It's Saturday, so you not got no paper paper. No paper paper. Dang. Yeah. There's Panther. Good morning. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> well, Don's tree is starting to turn that really bright crimson red. He um, bordered it yesterday because we just not getting enough rain, just to make sure. And um, pulled a bunch of leaves off of it so we could enjoy the fall color like I've been doing on the back side of the house. And I'd have to say it's worth it because it looks spectacular. It's a Tamayuka something or other Japanese make a Tamayuka. Something like that. He installed my um, blue plant pot. He painted it blue for me and installed it down there in the peephole thing I bought. He must have put it on the other side. I told him I didn't care where. Well, I didn't even tell him he had to put it on, just that he should um, install it down there somewhere, maybe. Hi! There you are waiting on me. Yep, you had um, fresh chicken last night after I deboned it. I see that you totally, totally wiped out that bowl. Good job! Hi! My editing assistant and I are in here getting the job done again. She doesn't like it when I keep my hands on the keyboard, though. She likes the listening part, the checking to make sure things are good part. Not the dropping it in, setting it up template part. Yeah, the lock's back working well. We were having to pump it twice after unlocking to open the door, and the stuff that Dawn's done has fixed that. All right, well, you guys stay dry. We've got just a little light rain. Madonna and I are headed down to the environmental park to get some fresh air, go for our walk. It's not raining that much. It's supposed to end by 3. It's 1.30. we just kind of been relaxing and chilling, and I got the video done, and he got his paper read and all that. We're here with light rain. You can see 
the color here. Don starts his watch when I tell him I'm ready and he's off. I, then I fumbled stuff, so that's why it's just a little ahead. But yeah, we figured we'd walk around over here today, get all this. First off, it, we won't feel the rain as much underneath the trees because there is still enough leaves and stuff to matter. And second off, if it's going to be this pretty, it's just the time to walk in the woods for sure. Most of the stuff on the little trail up to South Park's Kudzu, so <laughs> it's a couple of pretty trees, but... Anyway, it's looking nice. Lots of maples is what we're looking at, I guess, mostly. The oak trees there don't really have a lot of color yet. I was just going to pay a little more attention to the signs in the park today. This one's talking about the brown-headed nuthatch. That box with the super small hole we have beside out the bedroom window is uh, for those birds. They're, they like it smaller than the bluebird. They need help, more so than bluebirds now, almost. Ecological succession. Left undisturbed by man or natural disaster, fire or flood, many of North Carolina's inland forests would revert to oak, hickory, hardwood. I'm sure it's going to talk about how they start out as pines and then the uh, other trees come in underneath. A lot of paper in our state. Paper products due to the pulp from the pine trees. Northern Cardinal, the state bird. The male is the showy red and the female has a little red with the uh, orangey but really more brown tan colors. We're not feeling the rain down here as a matter of fact. I've got my rain coat, my little lightweight raincoat on but I took my hood off because it was getting too hot. <laughs> Yeah, Who's other than I wish I would have brought my gloves, I'm fine. Yeah, it's not bad out here. September the 6th, 1996. Category 3 storm, Hurricane Fran. Was it really not a 4? Maybe it was a 4 right before it made landfall in Wilmington and came up I-40 and hit us. Right. Some of us were... In Hawaii. Was it Hawaii or Australia? It was Hawaii in 96? Yeah, Hawaii in 96, Australia in 2000. Yeah, the snowstorm Don was, the 21 inch snowstorm Don was in Australia. <laughs> the hurricane that took out over 16 trees in his yard, he was in Hawaii. He had the timing for his vacation yeah, planning. I want to be around during the power failures. Well, it thinks one of these trees here is a common persimmons and all I see is um, a lot of privet. But maybe, maybe this is a holly tree, so no. I don't know. Look at you there on the bridge. It's very pretty. I haven't taken the shot from that vantage point before, so hold tight. Well, there's a good bit of color. We're not going to have any sun until Monday. Tomorrow it's going to be cloudy, too. Um, I wanted to head to Yates Mill, but maybe on a sunny day. Monday, though, we have our sort of former neighbor coming to power wash the house sometime between 11 and 12 and so we need to be home to move things around and manage that and um so we won't be going monday but maybe one day soon this sign which is too dirty to read is about joe pie weed which i assume is a native and um I don't see it by the sign. I'm sure it's in the park, but I don't see it by the sign. Wow, I tell you, uh, to look at this, the way this water's moving through here, I would have thought we had a lot of rain, but I mean, the ground's not even wet. Yeah, there's no puddles uh, or anything. In the open, it's wet, but under the trees, it's bone dry, so I don't know how, where all that water came from. Yeah. And we haven't seen it to our west either. I mean, it's, there's actually a little rapids underneath the tree there. Huh. You know, because we don't normally walk down here if it's too wet. Look at the pretty color. Big, big difference between last week and this week. A lot more. Don says he's missing the sun for enjoying the color. I uh, enjoy it both ways. placard down there says tree of peace 
planted by Fuquay Verena Middle School 8th graders Earth Day 2015. It does not specifically say what kind of maple. cooking we stopped by Harris Teeter again and um, I've got some chicken broth here you know you're in a kitchen where somebody cooks home cooks whatever when you can open up the refrigerator and there's jars of broth and that's all jelly looking scrape it off the sides of the jar got collagen in it wow I want you to look this is what happens when you have such a great girl. Woo, look what she's made for me. We're having lobster tails, scallops, and steak. So definitely surf and turf. And lots of butter. And lots of butter. <laughs> yum, yum. I'm uh, looking forward to it. A little dark at 5.40 p.m. Just wow. Um, so the building, the Christmas mansion, it um, has two Christmas trees, one on the first floor and one outside. And I looked ahead in the instructions and they happen to be identical. So I'm going to work on building them. I've got um, 50 minutes before we need to get ready to go out. And um, I've had a little nap and I enjoyed our dinner. And um, if I finish them, I finish them. And if I don't, that's okay too. But I'm very happy I'm not going to build one and then have to turn around at some point later and drag out the same parts and build number two. I'm just going to build two at the same time. <laughs> well, in my Lego building career, I've built, I don't know, 10 variations of Christmas trees. This one was one notch different from any I've built. Uh, he just had an orange dot on the top. Um, no, let's have a star up there. Um, maybe the star is just a smidge big for the size of the tree, but not really, I don't think, and I'm happy with it. So we're going with the star on top. Arboretum and um, it's packed. That wouldn't maybe have been a bad spot there on that side, but wrong side of the road. Sorry, no, I didn't video it because the car wasn't doing it. I mean, here was a ton of traffic, cars zooming <laughs> by, tight parking place, <laughs> and I, Jules was like, I'm not gonna park there. Oh no. Yeah, and the guy behind it, us was hot to and try. And I did perfect. You I, did. It's probably the best parallel parking job I've ever done. I agree. I, I, I'm dumbfounded how <laughs> I did that. Wow, there are just a ton, a ton of cars parked out here along Barrel Road. Here's the main entrance. I presume we can go in here and not have to go around the corner. I assume the vast majority of lights are in the big open area down toward the weather vane. <laughs> oh, okay. You can see the restrooms, they're having trouble. Yeah, they're crossing their legs. Know that feeling sometimes. Hey, that stroller is so bumpy. It would be bumpy in the stroller, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately tonight they said we're not allowed to go down the steps. Oh, really? Yeah, like just this section is to best viewed from up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, I don't quite know what that entails. So. You don't? Maddie, what do you think happens out here? What kind of magic? <gasps> do you think the witches from Hocus Pocus, do they come here? Oh, they don't? Oh. Well, who do you think comes here? Uh, Parker. 
The power. The power witches are great. Oh, those are cool. Hey Donnie, spin it. Yeah, it's meant to be spun. Whoa. <laughs> They're beautiful. They really are. Well, if you aren't careful, that'll make you dizzy. It does. I'm looking at the cement, and it's like the world is spinning. It has a nice vanishing effect on film. And in person, it looks a little flatter, but on the video, it's nicely up the hill. And the pergola underneath here, I don't think the video will do it justice, but there's... Um, all these little balls kind of like at Mineral Springs. It's well lit in here. <laughs> so if you wanted to eat here, you could. Lots of food trucks, places to sit and eat. I have live music. I think the only thing that's complimentary with your ticket is some sort of cider. Well, they've done a good job of lighting things up so you can see and walk safely, but not lighting things up so much that it spoils the effect. The little, um, oh, what are they called? I can't remember. Insinuar in insinu um, um, insinuaries. Yeah, it's not quite right. <laughs> Don and I will get it right in a minute. <laughs> anyway, they're plastic, so totally reusable. They do have real candles in them, so... Um, Illuminaries. The luminaries. Sorry. Yeah, well, I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to light things on light fire. Up. Yeah, that's a guy for you. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, we've been here during the day. No one wouldn't have had a clue that these could serve as something you could light. Very nice. Yeah, there's wood in there. So this is a slightly more quiet, private place maybe to come and eat. I'm going to go check out these lights straight in front. There are still roses blooming in the rose garden. Okay, before we leave, we're coming back to look down on the big light-changing display over here. This is the cactus garden. It's up on the roof, technically. But this is worth taking one more look at. We've had a good time. It is getting a smidge chilly now. It's a big Japanese maple, and to get that effect, there must be 15 different floodlights on it. <laughs> 